the thing is this, that with Avatar, Jim Pioneer, uh, the same way that he did before in Terminator, he pioneered new technologies. And he pioneered new technologies because he needed those technologies to be able to put together the film he wanted to do. Um, but you were doing the same thing. With Gravity, you had, you had a vision, right? You knew what you wanted. You didn't know how to get there. And you forced the technology to come to you to solve problems as a storyteller. And I think that's the healthy relationship, right, between what we do as directors, as yeah, filmmakers. Yeah, the difference is that you know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> when I started Avatar. You know, I knew, what I, I knew the result I wanted to get. I didn't know how to get there. You start putting together that story. Obviously, you were not thinking about how you were going to do it, or you, already were, you, you were already thinking how you were going to do it. it. I wasn't creating the story in a complete vacuum. I sort of thought, I want to do something here that has a different look and a different feel than what's been seen before. In the back of my mind, while I was writing, I knew that I wanted to create these characters using CG. My concept of the, of the Navi characters was as CG characters, but I knew they also had to be photoreal. And that was the part that nobody knew how to do. And when you're talking about how you, when you were writing the script and you were dreaming of the story, you already knew that there was some sort of technology that you had to, to create to do this, but it's some technology that you haven't touched for a decade, maybe. Yeah. Decade. So, yeah. so uh, you were not daunted by it? like uh, Of course. I'm sure I felt a lot the way you, you felt when you started Gravity, but it didn't stop you. I was telling Jim that also Fincher, uh, that who was someone else who was very generous about trying to figure out how to make gravity. He says, look, man, you're, you're going to be able to do it, but in seven years. And, 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 and Chivo, he, he was just like, yeah, yeah, he says that, but no, let's do it. Let's prove Fincher wrong. Yeah. And I have to say, he was right. It didn't take seven years, it took four years and a half. Yeah. And yeah. it's four years that... It's not four years that you're waiting for the technology. It's four years and a half that you have to be creating the technology. Exactly. The, the hardest thing in filmmaking, and this applies, I think it applies to any film, I think it especially applies to technical films, is maintaining your objectivity. Because by the time you're getting down to the, finished of, the finish of the movie and you're, you've, you're doing the final editing of the film and you're, or, or you're mixing the movie, you've seen every scene over and over and over. And in a funny way, as the filmmaker, you've almost become the least qualified person in the, in the world to, to appreciate the film. So I think something that every director and a, a producer, if you're a creative producer, has, has to have is that ability to always be fresh.